all right ladies and gentlemen how's it going hopefully everyone is doing all right welcome back to your favorite chess channel youtube channel i hope everyone is doing great and today we have logged into simplechess.com let's try to look for an opponent for 10 minutes rapid so we got a strong opponent and you know i guess e4 what, what we're gonna play the, let's play the part i mean it's been a long time ever I've ever played the Pierre's defense nine and three. Okay, here what we're gonna do? We are we've got a couple of options. Developing here, going here, going here. All of them looks rosy. Um, just in a mood of playing the check part. So I'll play here. They're playing quick. No, that makes me like uh, you know some kind of put, puts me under mental pressure okay um d3 why d3 i mean they want to play here right but that also makes that light square bishop bad i think playing nice city could have been better one but anyway okay is the pack defense so uh, let's develop our light square bishop okay now e uh, e5 is up for grab. I'm just thinking whether um, I'm gonna play it now. Uh, I think yeah, I I will. And or should I? Yeah. Okay. Let's go for the break. Okay. But also, I was just also thinking, you know, going here and they have puzzled. Not to mention. Uh, now I think we can go here. So, how, uh, have you guys ever played the pack? This is our weak pawn. This is the strategy. Look at our ratings, opponent's rating, 1833. That reminds me that I shouldn't be wondering. Hmm, what do we do from here? Okay. Um, let me think. Uh, and then. Pawn is weak. I'm, I'm just calculating going here. Makes sense or not? Or should I focus on castling? Yeah, I, th I think castling because this has been attacked once. It's been ages. Uh, I've, I've had the third games. So yeah. Uh, what is that move? Anyway, let's castle. I think our light square bishop is not doing a great deal of job over there, so I think I'm gonna pull it back here. What do you guys reckon? Uh, A3, I don't know what the, what it does, uh, except from the fact that they want to play on the queen side, so let's just put our bishop in an active square. So, the knight, okay, they, I think they want to play in the middle, that's sensible. Yeah, in park defense, we got we got this square for our queen to guard uh, d4 as well as pressure on this b2. So let's uh, do that. Okay. Uh, position is, I believe, roughly equal. So they're they're after our light square bishop. Uh, no, we don't want to give it up yet. Not yet. So attack the queen when when the queen moves. I think I'm gonna kick out the knight. So I gotta make sure that I don't I do not run out of time. Um, yeah, so this square is also weak, right? Yeah. Now I notice that if I play there, goes back here. I think I'm gonna put, put a defender to this square. This square is super weak. Hmm. Well, I wanna get rid of the knight placed here. So hang on a second, I gotta put somebody on the door.
Sorry guys, I'm back. So Okay, so they are trying to get rid of our I mean trap our life square bishop. So that means that we need to open up here. Let's go for it. We don't have any other choice. Don't get me wrong guys, I mean like flag defense is a very very complicated game. And these or these, how are we gonna catch? How are we gonna recapture? I think I love my knight, but anyway, okay. This knight can go here if needed to. Now this pawn is weak, so we gotta keep an eye on all of our uh, weaknesses. Okay, so we gotta recapture. Third defense is definitely a complicated game. Uh, for our opponents, especially at this rating range, because they're not accustomed to seeing power defense when you play. So, yeah. So what is what is our plan? I think we have to put one of the roots here. Uh, this one makes a lot of sense and also this knight is pesky so they've pulled the knight back right so has got no potentials all the squares are covered um, I think let's put the root in the open pile Let's see how it goes. Uh, their bishop is bad, uh, which is a good news for us. And they're they're after our life square bishop, so I'm just gonna pull it back. This pawn is still weak, albeit uh, it is being guarded by our knight. But I think I'm gonna put this rook behind here and look for some sort of tactics it's if if available. CD CD me Mon uh, I cannot pronounce the name. This guy is from France. Sidimimon or something like that. Okay, so they have, they're doing a lot of back and forth here. What am I gonna do now? Uh, can we play here? Uh, it's very tempting that. Yeah, well, go. Let's go for it. It's very tempting. I, mean, I couldn't resist. So yeah, that's it. I mean, they they are after life square bishop. So yeah, just put the bishop in somewhere so like safe. So this pawn is super weak. Uh, we gotta keep an eye for any sort of um, tactical blow that they might have. This is an interesting and complex game. What you guys reckon? Have you ever uh, uh, has anyone ever played on what is that? Has anyone ever played on simple chess? Uh, this is a cool app as far as I'm concerned. So you guys can give it a try. I don't know what it does. I really don't. So which of our pieces is bad, or we can reposition it in a better way? Uh, this pawn is weak. Uh, why can yeah we can go here and try doing something over there, you know, like that or like this. That is my plan. Or I go here. I might come here. 
That's not a good thing, no? But this is fire. So they got they got that one covered. Okay. Uh, should we go for it? Or is there any better move? Is there any better move at all? It's very tempting, right? Let's go for it. Let's go for it and see how it goes. Yeah, as anticipated, they have pushed the pawn here. Now, uh, we've got a couple of squares to go to this one or this one. Going forward is very tempting. So the thing is, this pawn is weak, right? So let's tag this pawn multiple times. I think that's how, that's how we're gonna win a pawn now. So oh yeah, this is the one I missed. Um, okay, can't. If we save our bishop, they're gonna capture our knight, so it doesn't make any sense. So let's take the knight. And now I think uh, we need to improve this piece, right? And also attack this. I mean, I mean we're currently uh, after this pawn, and no wonder that they're guarding it multiple one. But we won this pawn in in this first process of attacking. Often time it happens that if you keep on attacking on, on one of their pieces, I mean, they, they blunder another piece or a pawn. Not for all, a pawn, it's a pawn, right? So we can, I'm looking for if they have any fancy check. I don't see any, so let's go for it. And we're definitely doing better. All right, so they have this one, but yeah, we also have this one. Okay. No other option but to capture here. Now, we gotta be very, very careful at this moment. Uh, material is equal. No, no, no. Material, uh, material is equal, but. But, but, but. We have extra pawn, right? Two extra pawns. Two extra pawns. Now, how do we proceed? This is a, this has turned into a quite an open position now. I think what is their plan? What could be our plan. This could be one of our plans. So they come here. Guarded. I think, yeah, let's play b6. And uh, I think, okay, let's get rid of the queens because we're material. Oh, I mean, pawn wise speaking, we're also running out of time, so let's just simplify. Let's just simplify. This is an interesting game. If we win this one, our rating will skyrocket. Okay, so uh, I think our aim was to uh, capture the queen anyway. Now we gotta uh, guard this square, so let's guard it because we don't want them to uh, jump in our seven. Right, so I'm surprised that they have gone there. And now we have a, we do not want to go there, so let's go forward. And our aim is to come at this square. So they have to play uh, on the on their king side and let's go here. the key 
looking a bit Let's see how it goes end game technique cut the rook in an open file that cuts off the king uh, at the moment it, the, it's not cutting off the king Passers, just push, push. Oh no, I missed this one. Man. Missing a lot of stops. Missing a lot of stops. This check and why do we wanna go? We don't definitely wanna let this pawn fall. We don't definitely wanna go here. Unless, oh no, yeah, we do wanna go here. I thought that then there, there might be something like this, but it's not happening. Let's go at their eighth or first rank, whatever. How's the weather back there in your country, guys? Now we gotta keep this pawn up. Uh, we gotta, we have to play here. Uh, I think let's give a check. Uh, this is complex now. This is complex. Let's so stay put with with this pawn. They have a bigger threat coming here than this. Okay, so I think let's push it forward. Right, so how do we pay? Now what? Can't go here, right? Because they gotta take this one. But, 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 what if we give up this pawn? Because if they take here, we gotta check. If we, if they take with the king, we also gotta check here. Wow, tactics. Okay, so let's just simply grab this one. They're not seeing this one yet. Uh, in that case, we have to come back. Yeah, let's set a trap. Takes. Let's check. Yeah, it's, it's, it's better for them to resign now. This has been a tough game. Our opponent played really well uh, until the end game. Right, so thanks to the Rapids. Uh, with two seconds increments, we got a few time to think, which really helps. Now, there's nothing that's gonna stop us to uh, I mean, they're looking for some sort of. 
don't know. So the one here. Let's go here. So let's just capture. Running out of time. I mean, I don't know why are on the resigning yet. Sometimes it happens like they keep on playing. Show some respect. Show some respect. It's gonna pull for that. It's gonna pull for that. Cut the king out. Okay, how did how did go e4 d6 the peers defense the check fire check fire love the check fire but they played quite an unorthodox way this is not how you play against the pack like I said many times if you play the pack defense uh, it is very likely even opponents uh, at this rating range they don't know how to play against the pack so here this allows us to develop our life square bishop so. Now uh, they develop their king and uh, I mean knight, and now we have the chance to um, grab the center. Look at our center, and there, center, our, well, we are being better, slightly better here. They castle. We developed our other knight. Uh, they put the knight in the middle and uh, attack our weak pawn. Okay, so we developed our dusk bishop, and we want to castle. C3 is. It's okay, they, they have plans here or expanding here. Okay, so we castled and they went here. Why not go here? I don't really understand. Okay, then uh, we put our bishop back here because it wasn't doing a big deal there. So they thought that we we're gonna capture their knight, but we were just, we were just only improving our pieces. And then here, put pressure on this one, and also keeping an eye on this square because I, I was anticipating that they were gonna play here. Okay, so here, um, I mean, when they played knight g5, uh, obviously it's twofold. One is to put the knight in an active square. Second is to going after our life square bishop. So definitely we have to save our life square bishop as well as attack our attack the air queen. When the queen is safe. Uh, here uh, the move g6. Uh, I think we found the move because uh, putting the knight, uh, you know, trying to kick out the knight is uh, is impulsive. I mean, like uh, you know, instantaneously that that move pops up in the mind but we, we also got to think um, our opponent's pieces I mean this piece has got potential to jump in here and causing also all, all sorts of nuisance when you know this movement of this knight is gonna allow the queen to access the dark squares somehow and then uh, you know there are some crazy attacks so uh, blocking this square is crucial that's what we did we play g6 now they try to you know block our life square bishop but we just break in the middle right in time so after all the captures then they put the knight there and uh, we put our in an open file uh, nothing fancy put our bishop back they <coughs> excuse me they did a couple of back and forth move now 
F5 is uh, you know grabbing space here, also uh, gaining some light square axis. So they put the knight in here again, attacking our light square bishop. We said no, no, not yet. So they put the knight back here. Uh, I don't really understand why they did that. Maybe their plan was to come here f4. Uh, other than that, I don't see any. So instead, we jumped with our knight. You know, target this weak pawn. Uh, so they put their bishop back. Also, I mean, there was this forking thing. We discussed it during the game and now here immediately uh, instead of putting the rook here then playing no no we just immediately went e4 so they played uh, d4 uh, as anticipated uh, had they captured we we would have put this bishop in an active diagonal or maybe no 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 a uh, knight can capture because this would have hanged check so now we put the knight back, keeping an eye on this pawn. Now they have to make sure that the pawn doesn't fall. So here they have attacked our light square bishop, so we didn't have any other option but to capture the knight. Now again put another attacker to this weak pawn, so they put the defender. In that case, we always think of what the move is doing and not doing. The bishop is used to guard this pawn, not anymore, so we captured the pawn. Here they put the bishop in an activist square. Their plan was to come here, definitely dislodge our uh, rook. So what we did, we uh, attack their uh, square bishop. Uh, we draw square bishop. After the bishops are gone, they attack our queen, and we captured uh, their bishop. They also captured our bishop. Right. So when when they line up, something's gonna happen uh, for sure. Uh, we know it from experience so here we are a couple of pawns up so what we do we just try to simplify the game uh, exchanging queens so that's what we did now we make sure that they don't access to our seventh rank so we just stop that one and here I think this move uh, loses on the spot now we get all the activity here uh, and then here here, 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 there, and I, I made a blunder here, yeah, this one was a blunder, In, I, I think I should have wait here, instead of playing this, and uh, immediately I could have played something else, uh, you know, this is a check, uh, I could have played even here, so this check would have allowed me to grab space here or somewhere. Okay. But anyway, here then check on falls. Then check uh, here and they missed this threat coming here and there. So in that case we have we have only this option left. So we went for their weak pawn and check again this is the this is the last tactic that I, I need to touch about it's like if we move the roof this pawn is gonna fall so if, for example if we move the roof here tag this pawn this pawn falls so what do we do we sacrifice the pawn so they cannot take care if they take care we get check and then push or if they uh, take with the uh, if they take with the king, we still have a check and then push. So they had they played this one. Now we take this pawn and then here setting a trap and they fall. They've fallen. I mean they they don't have any other option. I mean uh, this pawn is being promoted. So this is the final tactic. Sorry, I'm, uh, I said the last one. So final tactic. This is the final tactic. Uh, take and check and then I'm gonna stop till here thank you guys for tuning in hopefully uh, we'll meet again soon till the next time take care of you take care of yourself don't forget to like and subscribe and comment okay that's it bye bye